Transition us nicely into today's Ask the Expert. We're going to keep your blood flowing, your body working this afternoon. But we haven't turned up the heat. No. But Allison Schnelli is here, and she joins us live this afternoon to talk about what do you got? You got some uh, fancy. Oh, TRX. TRX. We have the TRX. This is a su suspension TRX training. TRX for what? Torture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just a suspension training. You can take this really anywhere. There are classes in some gyms mm -hmm. devoted completely to yep. TRX. There are some gyms even completely devoted to right. TRX. So this is a good piece of equipment. If you don't want to go outside, you can use it in your home. You can use it in a really pretty small space. Yeah. Otherwise, if you are out in the gym, it's a great tool to use for strength training. Yeah, because right. if you don't like to, oh, we're showing some of yep. it right now. So this first one is going to be a squat to row. So you're going to squat, stand up, and then you're rowing. So this is all posterior chain work. You're getting your glutes, hamstrings, and then upper back here. So this is a good basic um, move just to start with the TRX. I think a lot of people don't quite know exactly what to do with it when they see it in the gym. So the farther forward your feet are, the harder it's going to be. And then as you move back, you'll take a little resistance off. Yeah, the concept here is that you don't have to use weights. You're using your body as Correct. the weight and then the suspension from the TRX. Correct. Yep, your body and gravity. That, that's all you need to, to add or to do some strength training. In the gym environment, I've used this either hanging from a big heavy piece of equipment like this or from the ceiling. At home, what? You strap this over the top of a door? Yep. Uh, most, most of them, you, when you buy them, they will have an anchor. So you can anchor it to a wall, a door, or some piece of um, something overhead. Just obviously make sure it's I really love steady. these. This is the squat to single arm row. So this is a little bit more advanced than the and last you one. You reach out and you touch it right yep, about there. Yep, pull up as high as you can. So you're same thing, getting your squat and your glutes, hamstrings, getting all the way down as low as you can. Again, if my feet were a little bit farther forward, it would add some more weight because I'm, I'm doing body weight. The next one we have is going to be a squat to jump. So this is going to be this going to get heart rate up. It's a little bit of plyometric. I like that we've slowed this down. More a bit. advanced. That is nice. <laughs> so you're going to squat and extend all the way up and jump. Notice the arms are straight. And you're leaving the ground. Start with a little bit lower reps. Start with about eight to ten reps, and then work your way up if you can to 15 reps. It'll, again, it'll get your heart rate up, and it's a good lower body exercise. And then the last one we have is an upper body exercise. It's a T and a Y. So this is going to be for your upper back. So you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. Arms are straight, and you're coming out into a T position, right. coming back down, and then your next one will be a Y position. So you're getting that rear deltoid. Again, feet farther forward is going to be harder. Start with your feet back so that you have good form. Core is going to be tight. The nice thing about this is that you're using, you are using your full body, so you're having to engage your glutes, your core, your quads, everything to keep yourself in a straight line and, and use good form. Yeah, I don't know if the video really uh, shows it, but this is a good workout. It's, it's hard. hard. Yep, yep. <laughs> and you can do it at home, like I said, even yeah. a 30-minute really intense workout. Yes. It's hard. It's great supplement for someone that's a cyclist or a runner or something that mm -hmm. they're out doing that and they want to get some strength training and they can do that after. But you can get a really intense workout. All right, Allison, thanks. Got a question for the experts? Send an email to asktheexpert at tmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. That